Hello, my YouTube friend. You did it. You got the last Mega Haul up to 700 likes. So therefore, I'm doing another Mega Epic Funko Pop Haul. I got a lot of stuff to go through today. This is going to be a lot of fun. I'm uh, kind of excited to dig through these boxes because I don't remember what's in all of them. I have a little bit of a mystery and I have some Macari purchases. Okay, so I want to do a comic book video this week. So I'm going to uh, give myself a little bit of time because comic book videos take me a little bit more time to do. So... I'm challenging you to get this video to a thousand likes. This is gonna be hard because 700 has been taking about five days. A thousand, I'm guessing, will take a week. I'm not 100% sure. So if you guys want me to do a mega epic Funko Pop haul quicker and faster, get to a thousand likes as fast as you can. But if you take your time, that's okay because I kind of want to do a comic book video and those take me a long time to edit. So a thousand likes. It's your challenge. You get it to a thousand in a day. I'm going to have to film in a day and I'm going to have to give up on the comic book video. Okay, let's start digging into all these pops. All right, first let's go through the Macari sales. I bought from three different people. Each person hashtagged their listings with Pop Fun to Play, as I mentioned in my store closing video. So it was really cool to see a lot of people listing stuff and I was happy to buy some stuff from you guys. Okay, so first... I got this really awesome Dr. Doom. This is my first 2020 pop. I really haven't been buying any this year just because I haven't had money to spend. So I'm actually really happy to get this. I love the Fantastic Four. This is one set I really need to put together. So I'm super happy to get this. So it's, I guess it's from the 2020 EZC Comic Con that they had to put online. I bought this from Matrix21 on Macari. I'm gonna put their username right there. They sold it to me for 20 bucks. And it arrived in perfect condition, so thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Great price, great condition. I'm actually super thrilled to have him. He is cool. Okay, next I got All for One from My Hero Academia. I needed this one for my set. This is the other set I really want to work on right now or complete this year. Um, I got this from Isaac. He's been watching my uh, YouTube videos for years now. His Macari name is Tisnado29. He actually sold this for $5 with $5 shipping. So such a great price. Thank you for listing him. I'm super happy to have him. He arrived in perfect shape. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, the next purchase I made was from Tal and J Collectibles. They sold this whole lot for five bucks shipped. Such a good price. Super thrilled. We got the Mr. Incredible from Jada Metals. He is super cool. Now, I think original retail is maybe a dollar on this, but it's almost impossible to get this for a dollar online. So he's really cool. I also got the Big Hero 6 Armored Baymax. This one is awesome. I love Baymax. He is so cool. So I got that. We got uh, Incredibles monogram keychain. I mean, this retails for like $5 alone just for that. And then they threw, this wasn't in the lot, but they threw in a little minion. So uh, for five bucks shipped, all this stuff, I thought that was an awesome lot. Thank you. And it arrived in perfect shape, packed well. I'm really happy. All three of the people I bought from on Macari, they're listing tons of stuff. So if you go on Macari and you look up hashtag pop fun to play, you'll find lots of people listing stuff. Pretty good prices. And uh, so far, you know, the three purchases I've made of things I, I wanted for myself was pretty cool. Um, of course, I'm also listening stuff too. So if you want to check out my shop, it's in the description below. Okay, what are we going to get to next? Okay, next we have a gift that came from New Jersey. Ah, I forget your name. I hope you left me a message in here. But I, I think it's Ziggy Wrapping Paper, if I remember correctly. If I open it up without damaging anything. Oh, this is cool. It's metallic wrapping paper, graduation paper. Oh, that's neat. Okay, very cool. Let's see, there's a note. Let me see what the note says. Dear Sean, encloses the Ziggy wrapping paper I messaged you about on Instagram. That's where you messaged me. I was looking for your message. I just couldn't remember where it was. I found it in one of my many cleanouts. I remember after just seeing one of your large Ziggy videos that you are a huge fan. I thought of you instantly and wanted you to have it. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Thanks again for all your videos, especially your comic videos. I know a lot of work goes into each one and sometimes we, the viewers, forget just how much work they really are. I love doing the comic book videos, but I sometimes put 20 to 30 hours in those things. <laughs> Don't forget me if you come into any Hot Wheels collections. Respectfully, Robert. Robert, I actually think I have a couple of red lines on Macari right now. If you actually offer me a couple bucks under the price I have listed, I'd probably accept it. All right, awesome. Thank you, Robert. I appreciate that. That's awesome. Okay, now we have a... I believe this was an eBay purchase. I'm not spending money, but I did have $8 in eBay bucks from stuff I bought in the winter. So I was looking. There's, you know, hundreds of dollars worth of stuff I would like to buy, but... 
I had to narrow it down to one item. And that one item was a cool early 70s Ziggy book, which I did not have. And it says 50p on it, so I'm thinking this is actually a UK book. Oh, that is actually cool. That's why I didn't recognize it. Yeah, it's, it says it's printed in London, 1973. So this is actually a very old Ziggy book. It's from his second or third year. He started in 71, so 73, so two years after he was first published. So it's a UK Ziggy book. I've never seen it before. I figured a great thing to put the $8 on. So actually really happy with that. Okay, next, uh, I had a request to do another t-shirt. So I'm going to open up another one of these threads by Zavi Boxes. I have probably three or four more. So again, if you guys want to keep seeing me open these boxes, I'll open them. They keep sending me one a month. So I can't say no. I mean, these are cool. It's uh, just a reminder. It's $12.99 if you want to order one box or $10 a month if you order, I think, three month subscription or more. And what you get is you get one kind of nerdy, geeky t-shirt and a graphic novel. For 10 bucks, it's always a good deal. I mean, sometimes the shirts are eh, not my favorite. And sometimes the shirts are shirts I'll wear all the time. So it's, you know, that's kind of the fun. You just don't know what you're going to get. All right, I'll let you guys see what's inside. Okay, that's it. This was, I think, the March box. Yeah, the March box. Okay. Ooh, we got Batman again. We got Batman the last box I opened. But that's cool. I do like the comic-themed ones. Okay, so we have a Dark Knight. It just, it's sort of a simple one because it just has a smaller graphic on it, but that's still very cool. Do really like that. Okay, let's get this tag off. Okay, the second Batman in a row. That's kind of cool. All right, let's put it on. All right, ooh, it feels like a good shirt. It's nice and comfy. It's the right amount of space. Okay, I like the shirt. Very nice. The design is not so big that it just it feels uncomfortable. So nice. Some shirts have a design that's just too much ink. It feels like a light, good design. So yeah, I like it. It's nice. Let's see what the graphic novel is. Okay. It looks like I can really... Oh, okay. It's another UK graphic novel. That's actually pretty cool. You probably couldn't get this in the US too easily, but it's an Eagle Moss printing. It says DC Comics graphic novel collection brightest day. So I guess it's the part one of the storyline. And it looks like it's a series that goes together where the spine forms a picture. But that's neat. I mean, it's a nice hardcover. This would probably be like $20 just by itself. So if you pay $10 to get this really cool hardcover and a t-shirt, uh, such a great deal. I mean, this is why I don't mind uh, constantly opening. I mean, they don't pay me to review these, but they do send me the box for free to review. But I like doing them just because I think you get so much value for it. That is cool. Awesome. Okay, first we have a little tray of pops. These got traded into my shop uh, forever ago, and I kept meaning to do them, but they're kind of common, sort of boring pops to me. So I kept on putting them off and doing other more exciting, like, rail pops. But there's some cool stuff in here, and I think I have all this. So most of this will probably go on Macari, so look for it soon. All right, from the Golden State Warriors, we have Thompson. I, forget, I don't know his first name. I'm not really a sports guy. Uh, he's kind of cool looking, though. Uh, I think I looked him up. He was like $16 on the pop price guide. I think when I list him, I'll list him for $8. I think half the value is probably fair. I'm not sure. Let me know if you think $8 is fair for him. I might put him down a little bit less. But that's cool. I'm sure someone will want him. Uh, okay, we have Zoom from the Flash TV series. He is neat. I do really like that pop. We have the Golden Iron Man from the Marvel Studios first 10 years. Okay, that one I do have. I think I actually have all these. Uh, we have Vanellope from Ralph Breaks the Internet. I know I have this one, but I think mine has a big dent on it. So I'll probably sell the one with the dent. But I'll, I'll put it up for pretty cheap. Okay, and then we also have Fixit Felix from Ralph Breaks the Internet. I'm not sure if I actually got that one. I might need that one. I'm going to double check. I always say, okay, and then we have the Iron Sheik from the WWE. This one, I don't really collect the wrestling pop, so that one I'll put up. Then we have Hawkeye from the Avengers. I think I have that one. So again, they're all kind of like common pops, but you know. Oh, it looks like, okay, I have a note. I didn't even see a note. So I got, these were traded into me from Justin probably last year sometime. I don't remember how far ago. Maybe six months ago, a year ago. <laughs> I don't remember. So I might be keeping one of these, but the rest of these I'll be putting on Macari in the next day or so. Or they might be up already. I don't know. I usually try to look everything up through my collection just to see if there's any weird variants. Sometimes it takes a while for me to find my actual pop that I already own just to compare it. And then sometimes I take two seconds. 
So that's why some stuff shows up right away and some stuff takes me a while to go through. Okay, let's start digging into some of the bigger boxes. This should be a little bit more fun. All right, we got a big Kohl's box. Okay, let's start digging in. Oh, okay. I think there's some fun stuff in here. Uh, okay, we have the Gold Super Saiyan Vegeta. It's a 2019 San Diego Comic-Con. Cool pop. I do like, uh, you know, the metal pops, the chrome pops get kind of boring, but I like the red ones. Those are always fun. I think I have that one. So that one I'll probably be listening. People have actually been asking me for Dragon Ball Z stuff. So it's actually kind of cool. Okay, then we have the 2018 San Diego Comic-Con Toy Tokyo exclusive Super Saiyan Vegeta. Pretty sure I have that one as well. So I think that's a couple that'll be going up. That's cool. All right, next we have the orange chrome Thanos. Pretty sure I have that one. Then we have the red chrome Thanos. That's also a Walmart exclusive. I'm pretty sure I have that one. I have a... Oh, the Venomized Captain America. I don't remember if I ended up getting that one. That one I actually might need. Okay, then we have... Oh, okay, we have Buzz B. It's uh, 12 Days of Christmas from two years ago, I believe. Uh, very cool. I do have that one already, but I, I think I know someone who wants that. So that one I don't think will be for sale. Okay, next we have... Okay, we have the Funko Shop exclusive Pillsbury Doughboy. Again, I have this one, but I think this one's on hold for someone. I'll have to double check. Okay, next we have the Dragon Ball Super Wiz. Pretty sure I have that one. But good, I like getting some Dragon Ball Z stuff because people have been asking me. Uh, oh, okay, we have the Box Lunch exclusive Flock Chewbacca. I don't remember if I got that one. I might just have the common. So that's actually really cool. I'll be excited if that's if I need that one. Okay, next we have the Holiday Group from the Marvel Collector Core box. This one is crushed in the back, so this one I'll have to sell cheaply. I don't remember if I got it crushed. It doesn't look like the box got damaged. So I must have got it crushed like that. Um... I think I have this one, so this one I'll have to put up for like five bucks. Okay, next we have from the Mickey Mouse exhibit, we have the teal and blue Mickey Mouse. That one I do have, so that one go on Macari. And then we have the Goku and Flying Nimbus from Dragon Ball. That one I'm pretty sure I have as well. I'm actually happy to see a lot of Dragon Ball stuff. Uh, ooh, okay, we have the Rocco Billy, but it's the, the lilac purple one. I don't remember if I have that colorway. I actually might need that one. That's a maybe keeper. He is neat. Okay, next we have the Armor King from Tekken. It's a GameStop exclusive. Pretty sure I have that one already. Okay, and then we have the blue chrome Walmart exclusive Thanos. He is neat. His windows are a little bit scratched off, but that's okay. These are cool. Uh, okay, we have a regular Jason. I'm pretty sure I have this one, but I'm going to double check the, you know, the boxes change and the artwork changes just like a little teeny bit, just the way he's painted and the way the box is. So I do like collecting all the variants of the horror pops. So that one I'm going to double check, but I'm pretty sure I have that one already. Okay, next we have the Dark Knight Rises Batman. I'm pretty sure I have this one. I think there's a Dark Knight Rises and a... I think there's one from each of the movies. I'm not 100% sure. That one I'm going to double check. That one might be for sale. He's cool though. I like him. His paint job kind of sucks, but he's still cool. <laughs> okay, next we have the Orange Gill. I love this pop. This one is awesome. I do have this one already though, so that'll be for sale. Okay, this is cool. There's some actually fun stuff for sale here. Okay, next we have the Red Jafar as Genie Chase. Pretty sure I have that one, so that one might be for sale. Okay, next we have the Poison Ivy from Batman the Animated Series. That one I do have, but that's a cool pop. I really like the Batman the Animated Series pops. I think they're really neat because they're all kind of stylized based on the cartoon, and I like that. Uh, ooh, okay, we have the Funko Shop exclusive Big Yella. I actually didn't have that one yet, so that one's going to my collection. Awesome. I forgot I got that from him. I, uh, uh, I don't know when I got this. I think I traded, this is either like November, December, or January. Somewhere in those three months. It's been a while. <laughs> uh, okay, we have Super Saiyan Goku. It's an Entertainment Earth exclusive. That is cool. I actually had that one already, but I'm sure someone will want it. Okay, next we have the 2019 Galactic Exclusive Chewbacca. It's the chrome. This is the convention where they did like a bazillion chromes. And this is really what ruined it for me for a while. 
Uh, I'm glad they haven't really done this lately. I think it was just too much making all these very simple variants. I mean, Chrome looks cool. You make one out of the set Chrome, that's awesome. You make every single model in Chrome, it's just too much. I don't remember if I needed that one or not. I think I actually have it, but I'll have to double check. Uh, okay, next we have another Chrome Thanos. It's a Walmart exclusive. It's kind of like the piss yellow color. <laughs> uh, too much Chrome. Okay, next we have, oh, this is cool. We have the Sun Goku. It's a Funko Insider Club from GameStop. That is cool. I'm pretty sure I have that one. So I'll stick that one on Makari. This is good. I'm gonna have like five or six Dragon Ball Pops for Makari. Okay, and then we have Goku Black from Dragon Ball Super. Pretty sure I have that one as well. Lots of duplicates. I kind of can't wait until I'm buying collections again and getting a lot of the new stuff from this year because I'm missing out. I haven't gotten anything in like three or four months. Uh, okay, we have Klaatu from the Smuggler's Bounty Box. This is cool. I don't have that one yet. So that one's going into the collection. Awesome. Uh, okay, we have the Luke Skywalker with speeder bike chase. That one, I, I think I have that one actually. So that one go on, Makari. And what do we have left? Okay, we have the purple Thanos from Walmart. That one's cool. I do have that. I have the whole set. And then we have the Holiday Thor from the Marvel Collector Core box. This is actually really cool. I don't have that one. So that one I'm keeping. Actually, I guess I didn't get the Groot or this one. I don't remember if I got it. I don't think I did. So these I'm actually keeping. I might have to keep the Groot too that's all beat up. I'll just have to iron it out or try to fix it. Uh, okay, and then finally in this box we have the green Thanos. So if you guys want Chrome Thanos, I'll have pretty much the whole set the list. <laughs> okay, let me clean up a little bit. Okay, next we have a Home Depot box full. This is more stuff from Jared. Okay. I guess I had a few boxes from him. So this might have been from two separate trades. I'm not 100% sure. Again, like I've been telling you the last month, they all kinds of blurs together to me. Because really I had a month where I was sick and just everything kind of backed up. Okay, let's see what we got. Uh, okay, we have an R2B1 is a GameStop exclusive. That is cool. Pretty sure I have that one already. Uh, okay, so I guess there's going to be some Star Wars stuff. That's good. I actually haven't gotten Star Wars stuff in a while. Uh, okay, we have another Pillsbury Doughboy. So I'm going to have at least one of these on Macari. That is cool. And then we have a Tuscan Raider. He's cool. I'm pretty sure I have that one. Okay, next we have uh, the Common Duck Dodgers. Pretty sure I have that one. Could be a lot of duplicates, I guess. Uh, Surfer Freddy. I think I just got this one in the last video. <laughs> duplicates. Uh, okay, we have a BB9E. Pretty sure I have that one as well. And then we have a Han Solo Target exclusive. I actually don't have that one. I don't remember getting that one. So this one's going into my collection. Okay, next we have Squiggly Diddly. I still have a bunch of these. I have a, like a case or two, so definitely going to be for sale, but I already have one listed. <laughs> uh, okay, we have a Jawa. That is really cool. I actually, I have that one already, so that one will get listed. And what's here? Uh, oh, okay, we have a Q-Pop, or I guess a Q-Fig. It's the Batman. These are cool. I actually really like these. I kind of want to collect more of them. I just have a handful. I think I do have the Batman already. They're neat. Uh, okay, next we have the Han Solo and Hoth. It's a GameStop exclusive. I don't remember. I think I have... No, I don't have this one. At least not with that jacket. I feel like the one I have... Uh, you know, I'm thinking of the Loot Crate one that I get like a thousand million times. Uh, so I think I have this one. This one, the box is a little bit damaged though. So I don't remember if mine... Uh, I'll probably be selling that one because I think mine's in good shape. It might have some sticker damage though. So I'm going to have to double check it. Next, we have a Space Cadet from Duck Dodgers. That one I do have. So not a super exciting box because it's all stuff I have already. Uh, okay, we have the Aura Singh from the Smuggler's Bounty Box. I don't think I have her. So this one actually will go into my collection. And then we have a... Ooh, I don't remember what this is. I think it was just like a mystery box. Oh yeah, okay. So it was a bunch of Dragon Ball Z stuff. It was like a mystery box that you have with a keychain. A key ring, you have a button, pin peg deal, a pair of glasses, a, I think this is a blow up Dragon Ball, and then you have the future trunks. 
Okay, so that's actually really neat. I don't have that yet, so this is going to my collection. And I'm keeping it together as a box. I do like keeping the boxes together because I just think they're neat. It's a neat little collectible. Okay, that's going in. Okay, so that's everything from Jared. Thank you for the trade again, Jared. I appreciate it. I'm kind of happy to get through all this stuff because it's just, I'm so backed up with it. I probably have like 20 more giant large boxes full. <laughs> so I'm actually kind of happy to be able to have some time to get through it and just feel good enough to actually dig through it. All right, so this is a box of stuff that comes from Jason. So thank you for trading with me, Jason. Let's see what we got. So this looks like newish stuff, stuff that probably came out at the end of last year. We have the Mary Brandy Buck from Lord of the Rings. I don't think I actually have him yet. This is 2018. So to me, it still feels new. I've been collecting so long now. There's something from two years ago, it still feels new. <laughs> okay, we have the Walmart exclusive Mysterio. I don't remember if I ended up getting this one. He is neat. That one, I'm gonna have to double check. Uh, okay, we have the GameStop Gamer Joker. I don't think I have this one yet. I haven't really gone out of my way to get these yet, so I do need most of them. I think the last video, I got the Batman. Okay, next we have the Yon Rog from Captain Marvel. That one, I'm sure I have. See? Then we have the Vegeta Over 9000 Hot Topic exclusive. I don't think I had that one yet. So that one's a keeper. Then we have the Hot Top Exclusive Dula Dent from DC Bombshells. That one I have already. Then we have... Oh, okay, this is cool. We have the Moo Moo Homer. It's a Hot Top Exclusive. I don't remember where I got this one. I actually might need this one. Very cool. I love The Simpsons. Next, we have the Future Trunks. Uh, I think this is the one that came in the box I just showed you, right? Or am I getting that wrong? So that might be a duplicate, actually. Okay, and then we have the Pink Power Ranger. This one I do have, Hot Topic exclusive. Okay, and then next we have the Zim and Gurr from Invader Zim. It's a Hot Topic exclusive. This one I didn't have yet, so that's actually really cool. Awesome. In the keeper pile. Uh, okay, we have the six inch Hulk with the gauntlet on his hand. That's actually pretty cool. I don't have this one yet. So this one's going into my collection. He's neat. They kind of went overboard with the Hulks for this movie. I feel like they just need to do one or two. And they just did like a bazillion. But I love the Hulk, so I guess I can't really complain. Uh, okay, we have an Owlman from DC Superheroes. It's a Hot Topic exclusive. I don't think I got that one yet. So that one's going into the collection. And then we have a Poe Dameron from The Force Awakens. That one I'm pretty sure I have already, so that'll be for sale. This one has a big sticker on the bottom, though, so I'll have to sell it cheap. Okay, and then we have a C-3PO. This is cool. Pretty sure I have this one already, so this one will be for sale. Although this one also has a big sticker on the bottom. Uh, okay, we have the Orm from Aquaman. Pretty sure I have that one already. And then we have the... Oh, okay, we have the LA Con exclusive Cosmic Ghost Rider. Love this pop. This is one of my favorite pops from last year. I just got this in, the, what, two videos ago? So I just, I don't know where I put him, but he'll be for sale. He's a duplicate. Cool pop. Love that pop. Uh, okay, we have a 2019 ECC Comic-Con exclusive Korath from Captain Marvel. That one I have already. And then we have a Killer Croc from the Suicide Squad. I have this one already, and this one, the box looks sort of beat up, damaged. So I'll have to sell that one cheap. Uh, okay, and then next we have the Goku and Flying Nimbus from Dragon Ball. This one, the box is really, really beat up. But uh, that's okay. I'll just have to sell it cheap. Okay, next we have Raven as Lady Legacy. So it's a Hot Topic exclusive. Love this one. This episode's funny. So I, I'm pretty sure I have this one already, but I'm sure someone will want it. It's a very nice pop. Okay, and then next we have Harley Quinn as Robin, LA Comic Con exclusive. This one I didn't have yet, so I'm actually really happy to get that. Awesome. When did these come out? The end? No, 8, 2019. I feel like these are brand new, but they're like, what, seven months old now? <laughs> the last seven months is like a blur. That's everything I got from Jason. Thank you very much. Okay, the final box. This is a box I traded with Rob, I think in December, maybe November. I, if I remember correctly, I had a couple of pops that were new at the time that I was really excited to get. So let's start digging through this one. Okay. Okay, first we have the SSG SS Goku Hot Topic exclusive. 
I I think I have this one, although I kind of don't remember his shirt just being blue like that. This one I'm gonna have to double check. Okay, we have the Funko Shop exclusive Fooper. That one I definitely have already. That one was traded to me a lot. I think I've sold two so far. Uh, okay, we have a Funko Shop exclusive Big Owl. Love that one. That one's adorable. We have the... Ooh, this is cool. We have the Funko Shop exclusive Flock Rafiki from The Lion King. I don't think I have that one. So that one's going into the keeper pile. Okay, from Street Fighter, we have Dan. Pretty sure I have that one already. Uh, from Zoolander, we have the Derek Zoolander. It's a 2019 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. That one I don't think I had yet. So that goes in the keeper pile. Uh, oh, this is cool. From Wayne's World, we have Garth. I don't have that one. That one's going into my collection. Okay, and then we have a Target exclusive 8-bit Dustin from Stranger Things. That one I don't remember if I have or not. So that one I'm going to have to double check. Uh, oh, okay, cool. With the purple chrome Joker. It's a Target exclusive. This one actually kind of works for me. I like this one a lot. Like I said, they should do like one chrome out of every couple sets and not do like sets of 12 different chrome. Because sometimes the chrome really works. Okay, next we have... We have the white chrome Joker Target exclusive. I mean, he's kind of cool, but chrome... I mean, I don't have it, so I'm keeping it. But chrome's a little bit overblown. Uh, oh, cool. Okay, we have the Futura Boba Fett Target exclusive. This is, I think, my second one of these. I know I put it around here somewhere. <laughs> I gotta figure out. So that's cool. That one I'm keeping. If I didn't mention, I absolutely love it when they release them with the hard stack. Uh, the price gets a little bit expensive, but I just I think it's cool because it has its own protection already. I think that's neat. I kind of wish they would sell every pop just with the soft protector just to keep it better protected. And even if it gets scuffed up, you can replace it. I think that would save so much damage. Uh, okay, and then we have another LA Comic Con exclusive Cosmic Ghost Rider. So I guess I'm going to have a couple of these for sale. Unless there was two different versions. I don't remember. Absolutely love this pop, though. He is neat. Uh, okay, we have the gold, the rock. That one is actually neat. I'm, I'm going to keep that one. I like the rock. The rock is cool. Oh, this is one I really wanted. It's the Hot Top exclusive Western Marty from Back to the Future. That is neat. Uh, okay, we have Ripley holding Jonesy Funko Shop exclusive. I can't remember. I think I did get her. So that might be a, a duplicate. But I'm going to have to double check that one. That one is cool. Love it. Uh, okay, next we have Radioactive Man from The Simpsons. I don't think I had that one yet. So that one's going into my collection. And then we had a... Oh, okay. It's a Walgreens exclusive Dracula. That one I have already. So that one will go up on Macari. So it looks like I'm going to have a lot of new pops to the list. Uh, okay, we have the GameStop only Dr. Peter Venkman, but the one where he slimed. I think this might be the one that came with a shirt, so that might be a duplicate. I have to double check that one. Okay, then next we have the Toucan from the 2019 San Diego Comic Con. That one I have already, so that one will be for sale. Uh, oh, this one's awesome. Okay, so we have Axel Foley from Beverly Hills Cop. I absolutely love the Eddie Murphy movies in the 80s. So this, I love this movie. This movie's awesome. And I love the pop. I'm so happy they made them. That's going into the collection. Anytime they make 80s movies of, you know, that's a toy of an 80s movie that they just never made anything out of. So that's all. I mean, that's one reason why I really love pops. They'll make toys out of stuff that they never even thought about making toys. So I kind of love that. Okay. And then from Wayne's World, we have Wayne. I don't have that one either. Awesome. Have the pair. Okay. So that's everything I got from Rob. Thank you, Rob. I really appreciate it. Uh, that was a lot of pops. So most of these were duplicates, so I will be listing most of the stuff on Macari. Uh, it'll probably take me a few days, but it'll also take me a few days to edit the video. So by the time you see the video, there'll probably be some of it's already sold. Some of it's getting listed. So just look out for the stuff. And if you're not following me, follow me on Macari because you'll see the stuff as soon as I get it listed. Remember, get this video to a thousand likes and I'll do another mega haul video right away. I want to thank my patrons for supporting my channel. With their help, I'm able to do more videos like this more often. If you want to help support my channel as well, I'll put a link to Patreon right there. If this is the first time watching one of my mega epic Funko Pop hauls, why don't you click the robot's face to subscribe? Why not? I want to make more videos like this just for you. I'm going to put a couple other mega epic Funko Pop hauls right there. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!